In this video, you'll discover Sri Lanka's mysterious Tamil cuisine. I'm a meat eater, but when you're sitting to have this meal, you really don't feel like it's a miss. And the shocking ceremonies that take place right before the big meal. I can't help but notice there's so many people here who have a lump on the back of their neck. What is the lump? But first, let's back up. Our cross-country Sri Lankan road trip has taken us from Kandy to the northernmost region, where you'll find the city of Jaffna. Here, you'll see the greatest concentration of Tamil people in the country, a community that takes up 11% of Sri Lanka. What is going on here? The biggest festival of Jaffna. And longest, I heard. Today, I'm on a mission to discover the unique food Tamil traditions have brought to this country. Is that a bad idea? It all starts here. <laughs> Guru Nagar Market. It's the busiest and most prominent fish market on the Jaffna Peninsula. Smells a bit fishy here. Of course, it's a fish market. <laughs> oh, okay. We're here to pick up some freshly caught seafood for breakfast and maybe even make friends with some exotic creatures like this. It looks like a puffer fish. It is a puffer fish. <laughs> Pufferfish are infamous for their tetrodotoxin, which 20 minutes after consumption can kill a grown man or even someone like me. Is that yummy? Oh, oh. We don't eat it here in Sri Lanka because Sri Lankans don't know how to clean it properly. Ah. My guide for all things Sri Lankan cuisine, Ruzena. Joining us, Jaffna local, Joseph. When is the last time you were here? Two weeks before. I assume that with all the seafood here, you have more than enough for the people here. Yes, they are exporting it to South. Besides being a key seafood supplier to much of Sri Lanka, Jaffna stands alone as the cradle of Sri Lankan Tamils. So it seems uh, the majority of Tamil people here are Hindu, right? 90% are Hindus. Separate from the Indian Tamils, who were brought to this country during British rule, the Sri Lankan Tamils have resided here since the second century BC. There's also a big Christian population here too. The Portuguese first and the Dutch came in and then they converted most of the Hindu Tamils. Uh, are you yourself Christian? Catholic. So we're going to go to your house shortly and we're going to be cooking up some different dishes. Is this food that you grew up with? <laughs> yes. Again. Your wife made all this food, right? That's all. Do you get to eat like this every day? One item, not all. So these are the hoppers, right? Yes, but this is the Jaffna version of it. Rice flour, sugar, egg, salt, and coconut milk blend into a mix to create this native Sri Lankan dish. Coat the bottom of a small wok with a thin layer of silky liquid. Then a bonus shot of coconut milk. In a few minutes, you'll have an alluring milky hopper that goes perfectly with anything on the table. So is this the shrimp? No, that is the coconut sambal. To make this beloved Sri Lankan dish, simply mix and mash onions, curry leaves, chili powder, and loads of scraped coconut. Oh, this is outstanding. There's like the coconut crepe, that soft center, and then this is just really spicy. But it's interesting how, you know, because it's like a shredded coconut, but it's absorbed all the spice. Coconut overload. <laughs> Sri Lankan Tamil cuisine is a melting pot of Indian cuisine, colonial influence, and foreign traders' taste. In Jaffna, for those who eat protein, seafood is the go-to choice. The cuttlefish from the market is cut into rings. The layers of flavor begin with fennel seed, fenugreek, and garlic in coconut oil. Then curry leaves, onion, and green chilies. Finally, the cuttlefish. It cooks and combines with even more flavors before finally hitting the table. I'm gonna try this cuttlefish alone. It looks just like squid, but maybe it's more crunchy. That's delicious. What spices are in here? There's Jaffna curry powder. And how is Jaffna curry powder different from other curry powders? In the south, they don't use the cloves specifically in their curry powder, mm -hmm. but there's cinnamon. Here, everything is there, but there's a little bit extra cloves and extra chili powder. Yeah, I taste the chili powder. <laughs> it's really spicy. With a rich Tamil culture of food, temples, and festivals, Jaffna is worth the visit to travelers who are willing to make the long journey here by car or train. This building behind you, was that your inn before? Yes. When did you build an inn here? After the peace talk in 2002. For over two decades, Sri Lanka suffered through a civil war that killed over 100,000 people. 
With the war finally ending in 2009, tourism started to thrive. So I thought of renovating my house with the minimum facilities. Mm -hmm. Lonely planet, they came and inspected everywhere in Jaffna. My end was selected as top choice. As Sri Lanka gained its spot on the world tourism map, so did its cuisine. I thought this was just a plate of noodles, but they've kind of like individual pancake portions. This is hopper. That is string hopper. String hopper. Rice flour, water, and salt form a dough. Why is it pink uh, purplish? Because of the rice. That dough is squeezed through a string making extruder. After a five minute steam, they're ready. How do you eat this? What we do is we stack about two, three together. Um, um. All right, so let's get it soaked with all this coconut broth. This is a shrimp curry. Our fresh market shrimps join a curry soup made with coconut milk, green chilies, onions, liquid salt, turmeric powder, squeezed tomatoes, and lemon juice. Mmm, that's good. Another chili pancake inside. I have a shrimp wrapped up. I have some of that sambal. And then before you know it, it's already down your throat. It's good. Those noodles really do a good job of soaking up this sauce, and that's really incredible. Not too hot. I think the cuttlefish is the hottest by far. What's your favorite thing here? Crab. 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 That is also hot. <laughs> I get to handle it. It makes me feel like I'm cleansing my insides, my impurities. Blue crabs are clean, portioned, then immersed in coconut milk. Add tamarind juice, Jaffna curry powder, onion, curry leaves, and ginger garlic paste. The crab? How do you eat the crab? We just put the big pinya here. And he kind of squeezes out the meat. When you do that, do you get some of the cartilage in there too? No. No, it's a technique. It's a good technique. So I've got my meat. How's that look? Pretty good? Just good. <laughs> it's like, yeah, why are you asking me? How much validation do you need? Mmm, it's very nice. It's a really a spicy, almost paste enveloping that crab. I got a pretty decent dose of meat there, and it's very nice with the noodles. It just helps it go down. Can you feel the difference of the robust flavors in this curry? Yeah. Jaffna is where uh, crab curry was initially born. So Jaffna has just been up and down and up and down more than anywhere else in Sri Lanka, right, when it comes to tourism? Yes. In 2019, Sri Lanka earned 12% of its GDP through tourism. But after a civil war, domestic terrorism, a pandemic, and now an economic collapse, those tourism numbers have been decimated. And perhaps no place is feeling the pinch more than this remote city of Jaffna. Europeans come, they just roam in Colombo and other places and they go. What is the state of tourism now in Jaffna? Almost minus. 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 No fuel, so they can't come. Whether outsiders come to see it or not, holy festivals continue without pause as they have for generations. And with enormous events, always comes impressive feasts. Welcome to the kitchen. This morning, we got our dose of protein, and now it's time for the veggies. And that is because right now we are in a Hindu restaurant. People are gonna be coming to this restaurant soon after the event that is coming up shortly. This is the 25 day long Nalur festival. Without the usual tourist crowd, Jaffna streets are still flooded with thousands of Hindu Tamils from all over the country. After the ceremony, they'll be flowing into Tamil restaurants in search of this. We've got two foods right here. This is a kuruma. Here we got spices, potatoes, peas, lots of, well, vegetables. We've got sambar, we're gonna have dosa, we're gonna have rice, lots of feasting, but first. The 20th day of the Nalur festival has begun. Every July to September, this festival honors Lord Muruga, the Hindu god of war and the god of the Tamil people. Have you been going to this festival since you were a kid? Yeah, yeah. Neelan, whose restaurant we'll be trying soon, is taking a break from the kitchen to walk me through this epic event. Each evening before sunset, a different, unique altar is strenuously carried around the Nalur Kovil Temple. 
I can't help but notice there's so many people here who have a lump on the back of their neck. What is the lump? So it's like a form of saying that the God is sitting on your back. The bigger the lump, that means you carry it for longer. And then they keep it like that in a way to show that they're proud of what they've done. But how do you make a lump like that? I have no idea. Trying to learn more about these mysterious neck lumps, I try approaching some of the men. Can I shake your hand? But just like girls in my high school, can you come here? They all refuse my advances. Oh, one minute, one minute. Needlin has managed to persuade one of the devotees, but there's a catch. He wants you to remove the shirt. But I don't know where to put my mic. Turns out, as a sign of respect, any male from the age of three cannot dress above the waist, and doing so could cause great offense. Where do I put this? Right here. Uh, Hi, hello sir. How are you doing? Feel good? Can I ask you, how did you get this? It's a bigger weight. Holding the weight. Yeah. They had a big bamboo pull on the nail. Okay. <laughs> the accepted lore here is that these curious neck lumps develop over time and are the result of carrying heavy loads during this festival. I happen to think they're more likely the result of synthol or oil injections. I can't prove this, but I do know. Whenever a physical attribute becomes a symbol of status, some folks will take a shortcut to obtaining it. Kind of like my hair transplant. After the altar rounds its third corner, I take off to the restaurant to beat the post-ritual rush. Are you the mind behind this menu? Yeah. Yeah, I think we should try the dosa because it can lose its crunch. Dosa. It starts with a fermented batter of lentils, rice, salt, and sugar, all spread thinly over a hot flat top. Slather it with a complex paste of mashed potato, chili powder, curry powder, onions, garlic, cumin seeds, and curry leaves. Even plain is quite good. Then you can dip it in your chutney. Really crispy dosa, which has its own yummy masala. The chutney is full of coconut flavor and super spicy. It is just a combination that you just don't really get where I come from. This is a koruma. Koruma. No koruma. <laughs> a symphony of flavor. Cinnamon, nutmeg, star anise, onions, lemongrass, green chilies, tomatoes, garlic, fennel seeds, <gasps> and mustard seeds come together in hot oil then pandan and curry leaves, then chickpeas, potatoes, carrots, and green beans. Oh, the spices are different. I like that it's not mushy, so it has some good texture. And you know, some places you go to, all the food just tastes the same. It's distinctly different from what's inside the dosa and from the chutney as well. For you, what spice comes out the most? I'm getting a lot of like cinnamon, cumin, and star anise, and uh, nutmeg. Mm. So you're vegetarian. How old were you when you started being vegetarian? Since uh, birth. You've never had meat? Yeah. Ever in your life? Like most religions, the Hindu Tamils and Christian Tamils' beliefs are reflected in their diets. For the Christians, pretty much anything is fair game. For the Hindus, this means no meat. Why is it important to you to not eat meat? His family is very involved with the temple, so they don't eat meat, you know? It's a form of respect to the animal. Is it more like a high respect or like actual worship? Worship and respect. Worship Both. And respect. So we've tried the kuruma. What is this one called again? Chili parata. Chili paratha. It's an advanced version of the more familiar roti paratha. Roti dough is grilled as usual, then deep fried and cut into squares. On the griddle, toss on chopped onions, green chilies, and tomatoes. Then the roti. Finish with a handful of chili powder and extra heat from the chili sauce. This is just one portion of the over 300 they serve each night. And I can eat it with a fork? Yes. Fantastic. Fried flatbread, doused in chili. <laughs> mm hmm spicy. I gotta say, I love meat, but this is very satisfying. It feels full of flavor. It is sweet, sour, and spicy all at the same time. There's fresh onions. What's this? Capsicum and green chilies. And there's chili flakes in there. Is that a bad idea? You already wait. All right, might as well. That was a mistake. Uh oh. Sometimes carnivores in the USA, when they hear about the vegetarian diet, they either picture a loaf of bread or a salad, and it sounds boring. But it's when you come to places like this where you go, maybe I could do this, at least for one meal. 
would seem that an event like this, it is such a spectacle. It's so fascinating, so interesting. I would think tourists would want to come to see this, right? Usually, a lot of people came here in at the moment, festival time. But last four years, many people did not come because of the bomb blasts and corona effect. This year also, economical collapse. I wanted to ask you this whole time. In 2019, Lonely Planet named Sri Lanka like the number one tourist destination. Yeah. And then now it's like, I mean, Sri Lanka has fallen so far from that point. Can it ever get back there? Sri Lanka is a magical island. I always kept saying this because it is. We've got beautiful beaches, we've got beautiful landscape, we've got beautiful estates. And if you want the beach and hot weather, you come here. If you want really nice, cool weather, you go to the central province. And we are resilient people. We've been through 30 years of civil war, we've been through bomb blasts, we've been through an economic crisis. We've been through the rut, but we still keep, you know, coming back again and again and again. So we've got like everything here. All we need is a simple plan from the leadership and we'll get back to it in no time. It's true? That's true. Let's go wide. Best Ever Food Review Show is a small team of independent creators, and everything we do here works because of you guys. Click the link in our description to join our Patreon and receive exclusive benefits. A piece. What's a seafood that you really love? Fish and crab. Lagoon crab, not the mud crab. Why don't you like the mud crabs? It upsets the stomach. Oh, really? I don't know. I had a lot of it. I didn't feel upset at all. I felt very good. It is just a combination that you just don't really get where I come from. Coconut with spice. Actually, where I'm from, people think pepper is spicy. No. Is there anything you eat that's not spicy? Maybe like fruit. It seems like it's even difficult for people to get here. Is there an airport in Chapman? Uh, there's a seaplane. Sure, there's a seaplane that works. Wow. Yeah. Guys, that is the end of our Sri Lanka series. Four videos, and my gosh, what an adventure. All the way from Colombo to Kandy to somewhere in the middle of nowhere up here to Jaffna. And I got to say a huge thank you to you for making this trip happen, for, for coordinating, for connecting us with people, for researching everything you did for the series. Thank you so much. I should be thanking you for coming to Sri Lanka at Absolutely. this yeah, at this no. time, it wasn't the easiest and it wasn't the easiest for you to like, you know, go through the economic crisis with us. But you're here and thank you so, so much because this is going to help Sri Lanka tourism like nothing, like crazy. It is my absolute pleasure. That is it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Peace. Did you think like a hidden menu with meat on it here?